Hi, my name is Juan Carlos. <clears throat> I come from, I was born in Chile, but I live in Spain. Anyways, it's far from here. <laughs> <laughs> I'm alone there. <laughs> it has been helpful uh, uh, to try to write something, not to get lost. But at the same time, I realized that my experience in four years um, has no words. It's not possible. Okay, but I, I have some special points in this trajectory of four years that I, I, I really would like to mention between this sea of tears <laughs> that I want to swim. <laughs> um, first, I saw the video from Anat with Elizabeth, and there, the cries, they started. I got so impressed, and then my next move was try to see how I could do the training, and there appear, appear like the first angel, because otherwise I wouldn't have been possible to come here. Yeah? The next very special moment was at the end of the second segment, when I was talking with Anat at the end of this uh, segment, and I asked her what I could do, because in two days more I was going to be in my practice with my clients, and while I knew that this work fill me completely and would go with me forever but what I still but I still I had only few contacts to do and she told me not to worry about her contacts but that I should use the principles the essentials this was like an invasion of light to me opening an immense space for exploration thank you Today, when I look at uh, how I was, I was working in my osteopathic practice before starting this training and how I work now, I see an extraordinary change. The good things that I had are still there, but with more clarity and precision. But also I see a big door has opened in giving me the opportunity to serve a huge group of people, children and adults, with neurological issues that I I, now I know I can be of real help. That was not before in my hands. Although I thought it was, it was not. Somewhere I read a quote from Moshe Feldenkrais, and I'm not if I'm interpreting okay, but this is my interpretation, in saying that this work offered individuals to regain their dignity of as human beings. He was approached and asked if his work okay, will make the, that person, makes people more flexible. And his answer was, I, I was there, his answer was, uh, what, he got irritated with the person. <laughs> and his answer was, what I'm after is not flexible bodies, but flexible minds, and walked away and then changed his mind, walked back and said, what I'm really after is helping people regain their human dignity. That's Thank you very much. Still applies yeah. to me. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Not only as one who suffered or has suffered pain or limitation, but has also changed me as the person who is there to help the client. I have received so much from all of you in so many different ways that for a moment, I don't, I don't want to make distinctions. I know this group, it has different trajectories. But we are just one group of people wanting to learn, receive, share, and thrive. I feel fortunate to belong to this group, and every time I help someone with my work, I renew the strength of this bond, and simultaneously, as a law of life, the more one shares, the more one receives. Helping more and more people to regain their right to get closer to what they are intended to be is the main purpose of my work, and it flourished in the shelter of this group, with the light of Anat and Marcy's constant loving care. I feel sad. For not having a concrete day to meet you again, but also I have learned to give space to the possibilities. Who knows? Thank you. 